Helen very kindly devoted some attention yesterday to uh, a poem in six uh, parts called The Ring Cycle. Uh, I think it's fairly self-explanatory, even if you don't know the names of the characters in Wagner's Tetralogy. Flagstad was a very, very great interpreter of Wagner's heroines, soprano heroines. They're doing a ring cycle at the Met, four operas in one week, for the first time since 1939. I went to that one, then war broke out, Flagstad flew home, tastes veered to tuneful deaths and dudgeons. Next to Verdi, whose riddles I could whistle but not solve, Wagner had been significance itself, great golden lengths of it, stitched with motifs, a music in whose folds the mind of twelve came to its senses, twin sword, forest bird, envy, redemption through love, but left unheard these fifty years, a fire of answered prayers burned round that little pitcher with big ears, who now wakes, night. E flat denotes the Rhine, where everything began, the world's life, mine. Young love, moon-flooded hut, and the act ends. House lights, the matron on my left exclaims. We gasp and kiss, our mothers were best friends. Now old as mothers, here we sit, too weird. That man across the aisle with lamb's wool beard was once my classmate, or a year behind me. Alone in black in front of him, Maxine. It's like the our town cemetery scene. <laughs> we have long evenings to absorb together before the world ends. Once familiar faces transfigured by high-tech rainbow and mist, fireball and thunderst head. Make believe weather calling no less for prudence at our stage when recognition strikes. Who can afford the strain it places on the old switchboard? Fricka looks pleased with her new hairdresser. Brunhilde Behrens has abandoned hers. Russet maned, eager for battle, she butts her father like a playful pony. They've all grown, these powers, so young, so human, so exploitable. The very industries whose major funding underwrote the production continue to plunder the planet's wealth. Erda, her cobwebs beaded with years of seeping waste, subsides unheeded. Right, Mr. President? Right, Texaco? Into a gas blue cleft. Singers retire, yes, but take pupils, not these powers. No, no. What corporation Votan trained by them returns gold to the disaffected river or pre-atomic sanctity? to fire. Brunhilde confronts Siegfried. That is to say, two singers have been patiently rehearsed so that their tones and attitudes convey outrage and injured innocence. But first, two youngsters became singers, strove to master every nuance of innocence or outrage, even in the bosom of their stolid middle-class families who made it possible to study voice and languages, take lessons in how the woman loves, the hero dies. Tonight again, each note a blade reforged, the dire oath ready in their blood is sworn, two world-class egos, painted overweight, who joke at supper side by side, now hate so plausibly that one old stagehand cries. I've worn my rings, all three of them at once for the first time, to the ring. Like pearls in seawater they gleam, a facet sparkles through waves of sound. Of the three givers, one is underground, one far off, one here listening. One ring is gold, 
one silver set with two small diamonds, the third bone, conch shell rather. Ocean cradled it as earth did, the gems and metals. All unknown then were the sweatshops of Nibelheim that worry nature into jewelry, orbits of power, loves over me or musics as his own chromatic scales beset the dragon over time. Back when the old house was being leveled and this one built, I made a contribution. Accordingly, a seat that bears my name year after year between its thin squared shoulders where Hagen is about to aim his spear bides its time in instrumental gloom. These evenings we're safe. Our seats belong to Walter J. and Ortrude Fogelsong, whoever they are or were. But late one night, how is it possible I'm sound asleep? I stumble on my darkened place. The plaque gives off that phosphorescent sheen of Earth's address book. Stranger yet, as I sink back, the youth behind me, daybreak in his eyes, a sun till now undreamed of, makes to rise. <laughs>